Welcome to Other Levels. In today's video, we will learn how to create these impressive sales performance metrics using Microsoft Excel without VBA codes. It's available also with the dark theme. You can get our templates and make full modifications to them by visiting our online store other-levels.com. And for training and practicing, you can now download the dataset for this dashboard for free from our website. This dashboard contains many analyses. Total earnings and total paid calls. Top 5 consultant sales revenue. Total earnings by months and highlights for the highest, lowest, and average month revenue. Count and percentage of total paid and unpaid calls. Monthly slicer. Enrolled courses and the average. Sales per area codes. Training models fees by sales team. Total enrolled courses by training levels. Top 5 training levels. Average paid calls duration by months. Showing the minimum and the maximum call duration. Advertising spend broken down by channels. Average calls by month. Total sales by sales team and highlight for the top sales team name and their revenue. Consultants by total sales and highlight for the top consultant name and their revenue. Revenue broken down by training models. Advertisement campaigns by total sales. Training models fees by sales team. Slicer for sales team. Training models fees by consultant. And these are the color codes used in the design and the font type as Arial and a body. All our dashboard's template features are working in all versions of Excel, Mac and Windows operating systems. Let's start by renaming the sheet to database. This is where we will design the database. Select the whole sheet and change the font color of the entire text to slightly dark gray. Next, select the data and insert a table, and make sure the table have a header choice is on. Choose the blank design. Now, we will insert a new column before the table and a new row above it. Let's change the first row height to 33. And the second to 37. and then the rest to 21. We don't want the filter and the table border. Now remove the headline and grid line from the view to create a nice white space around the table. I added it back to adjust the column. Please always keep your eyes with us on all formats for the shapes and the text boxes dimensions, font size, font type and the used colors. Remove the boldness from the table header titles. Change the table header color. Now we change the font color to white. We will change the row color to light gray and keep the second row in white. Now select both rows and click on the format painter. Use the format painter to copy the same design and paste it on the rest. Now we insert a round same side corner rectangle shape to design round corners around the table header. Change the width outline to 6 then change the outline color with the same the header color. Stretch it until fit the table headers. In 
Insert an L shape and rotate right 90 degrees, then flip horizontally. We will use the L shape as to create a background design for the white spaces to the top and right. Now we'll send it to the back of the header. Fill it with a gradient color. Fill the column with the color selected. Hide this wave look using a line with the same a column color. Next, insert a rectangle shape. We will need to align and rotate this design and place it in the top corners of the table. Send to the back to create an excellent look. Now we need to add a button to move between the database and dashboard. Insert a text box, then insert a top right corner arrow symbol. We are going to make the box transparent and make the arrow white. We will also remove all outlines to make the box completely transparent. Nice job on the database design. Now we'll create a new sheet to design the dashboard. First, we'll have to connect the database design with the dashboard sheet. We'll insert the dashboard as a hyperlink in the arrow we designed. Don't forget to add the screen tip. That works. Creating a new sheet, titled, Pivot Tables. This is where we will create all our pivot tables. If you've forgotten or don't know, pivot table is our super flexible tables that automatically summarize what you have on your sheet, so you can perform millions of calculations and analyses without manually creating many calculations. To learn more about pivot tables, please check link above. Let's get started on the dashboard. Insert a rounded square shape. We are going to add a shadow to the shape. Change the size. We always show the dimensions. We will use the text boxes to input text in the shape.
Insert your company logo. Let's create the second shape. For this, we will duplicate the first shape. This makes your design work faster, so you don't have to create a new design from scratch every time. So we are going to insert a pivot table to the existing pivot tables sheet. Once you click the table range icon, switch to the pivot tables sheet, click on a cell, and insert your pivot table there. The first pivot table will show the total fees paid. Add some adjustments to the table and to the value. We'll link the text box with the pivot table cell. It will be flexible once and data changes. As you see that we cannot link the text box by clicking on the cell inside the pivot table. And to solve this problem in the fastest way, just choose the below cell and change the cell row number from the formula bar manually. Now let's insert an isosceles triangle shape. It'll be used to design the green sales increase icon. Now let's look for the currency symbol, doing that through the online picture feature. Let's add the total paid calls. Copy the previous pivot table. and add the paid status in row field and in value field. We are going to search for these values using VLOOKUP function. And to avoid any errors appearance, we must use if error formula. Type if error, open the brackets, and at the end type a comma, then two quotes, dash symbol then two quotes, and close the brackets, then press enter.
Now we'll create the top 5 consultant list with their sales revenue. We prefer to add main title for the pivot tables. Also to arrange the pivot tables, we will create them next to each other. And we'll separate them by adding a vertical line in between. Let's create a pivot table for the top 5 consultant sales revenue. What we'll need is the consultant in row field and paid fees in value field. Then sort from the largest to the smallest amount. So now the top 5 will be always on the first 5 rows. Now, as we did before, we will link the text boxes from the dashboard to the cells. Use distribute vertically to maintain the correct distances. Double click to the format printer and copy the format to the rest. Now the analyses of the total earning by the month.
Only change the consultants with the months, and keep the paid fees in the values field as it is. Insert a line chart, and remove the all elements. Add data label in above. As you see, the amounts are big, and it's in top of each other's. So, we need to show the amount in short form. Go to Format Cells then choose Custom. Then type this number format. Perfect. It's not looking so good, so we need to add area chart below the line with gradient color to look more beautiful. Let's create an analysis of the highest, average, and lowest monthly profit. To extract these values, we will use a simple formula. To find the maximum just type equal then max. For the average type equal then average. Finally, to find the minimum just type equal min.
Next, create the total paid and unpaid calls, with showing the percentage. To find the percentages, we will divide the value by the total. The data table will be needed for the text boxes. As for the chart, we will use the pivot table to create it. Remove all chart elements. We will insert two of them, and highlight the paid part and hide the unpaid part. As for the second chart, it will be the opposite. We prefer the unpaid ones to be at the bottom. This blue part is for paid calls so we'll change it to the green color. And for the orange we will make it in very light grey color.
We're done here. This dashboard contains two slicers, and we will insert the first slicer which is for the months. From the slicer settings menu, hide the item with no data and the header. The design of this slicer has already been implemented. To learn more about modifying and designing slicers, please watch the video above. In addition, we want to add a button so that we can go to the database easily. Let's copy the button we created earlier and change the hyperlink from dashboard to database. Don't forget to change the screen tip to go to database. The last analysis on top part is the total and the average of enrolled courses. And we will add a line chart showing the enrolled courses by months. So we need a pivot table with months in row field and the sum of enrolled courses in values field. To find the average of total courses enrolled, we will click the more information icon and simply summarize by average. It's not necessary to see the data labels so just we need to show line graph to understand which year months have the most courses. Search and find the average symbol from the symbol library.
I think smooth line is not good here. Perfect look. Let's keep going and add some more designs the below part. We have many area codes or sections names, so we will analyze the number of calls for each section. The filled radar graph will be good enough to show the most area code calls. Remove the title and legend. Give it a solid fill. And also we have to add many of different charts designs to make a great dashboard like this. Now the paid fees by training models. Copy the previous pivot table with the vertical line to maintain the arrangement and format. Then add the training models in row field and then the fees in values field. Use the previous number format we used earlier in fees by month line chart. We need only the paid to avoid the blank values, so add a filter. The pie chart can show the data label outside the chart, but we need to show as a donut chart, so we will use a white circle in the middle to get the donut shape. I hope Excel update the donut chart to be able to show the data label outside the chart. The last part in this video is the training levels fees by sales team bar chart. 
and enrolled courses on training levels line chart. Now we'll insert a 2D bar chart. Remove the title and legend and move the label outside of the chart by selecting the outside label option. For the pivot table for the enrolled course we'll use the training levels in the row and enrolled courses in the value field. Insert the 2D line with markers. Reduce the width of the line. Now under the market option change the color of the marker to white and increase the marker size to 8. So far we are doing better good. Next video we will complete the rest, and it will be ready by the end of this week. I hope you learned something useful today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.